from spinning like superman you were the only one to find the strength and all that i was dealing with this life like kryptonite
Hello and welcome to, to Satisfactory. I'm Swifty and we are on day two. And a little recap why it loads. We're going to be connecting the, the copper line and what we have done so far is we have managed to get a miner onto the iron and we've connected that up to a smelter and to a crafter is it a crafter? well we'll see in just a second after we stop looking at our feet um, so yeah we've we've connected up the miner to the smelter to which one is, oh, the constructor the constructor so yep the constructor and then into the storage and I think we're currently doing iron plates because we're gonna it's gonna be important for us to go and get some of the reinforced iron today because uh, we're gonna be working to there's them presents I was talking about the other day let's go and collect one not sure what these are used for uh, we're probably going to get attacked again, aren't we? Let me go up here. But we can't just leave them laying around like that. And yeah, that just gives us some little others oh, more. Oh, they're everywhere. We'll collect this one and then we'll go back to what we're doing. We'll just ignore these then for the time being. Right, let's go. Uh, tree, bush, tree, rock, yep. Let's get back to the, the factory set. <laughs> Trap on the tree. So yeah, we've got this one line running over which is powering our iron facility. And let's go and empty the iron plates. We need take those and we'll take the rods because we need to make screws and I think we'll construct like 10 reinforced plates that should be enough for us for the moment in fact let's em empty the inventory we'll keep the nuts because that's a, a bit of food source um, yep, keep the bio mass in there iron ingots we can place oh no we're gonna need that no we're not we're not gonna need that Keep the oars, put that, and we'll put the snow in there as well. So yeah, we've got we've got a fair bit of that. And let's craft up some reinforced iron plates. We just need some screws. We'll craft those up. And if you haven't seen on how we've got here, if you check out my YouTube channel, the day one is on there on how we got this far so we'll craft up a hundred of these screws right okay that should be enough and we'll get we really want a good few of these let's turn the music down just slightly Down. Yeah, just so it's nicely in the background there. Um, I may have turned the volume to this down way too low, maybe. Um, options, let's go look at the audio. For it. Yeah, the master volume's gone down a fair bit. You don't want it too loud. Out there. Um, we game. Right. We're all good. So, um, yeah, we need to go and start looking at putting the mine over there, and then on how we're gonna power that from this one. be able to easily connect this up and um, if we put a pole this way 
Then we connect off of this pole. This is just going to be for copper. Let's try and keep this a little bit in line. Let's put that pole there. I know we could have gone a lot further. And now we want to be sort of over that direction. So we'll take this over here. How far can we go before it bottoms out on us and tells us we can't have it any further? Well, that's quite a long way. Let's put that one there. Now we're in for resources. We look okay. Right. Connect our copper line there. Um, our power line there. And I have sort of forgotten roughly where it is. Let's just. Where's our copper? Ah, copper's down here. So we really want so it's been roughly in line and then we need to take our power down here so yeah we're still good we'll place that there and then if we place this here ish somewhere near that stone we can connect off of we can connect that to this so let's go in grab that and grab that and let's go for the miner right um let's just be smart about this this is going to need to come diagonally sort of thing isn't it um okay where's it gone let's exit that and try again q mark one minor and then we'll turn that sort of that way is that rock going to be in the way maybe turn it a little bit more that way right we're in business Let's connect the powers power up there to there. All right. So we need. We'll, have, we'll stick a smelter right on the back of it, and um, to get the ingot straight away, because we can connect. So we might need more copper later on. So do I build smelter up here? in case we need to ever come back and alter it and have two conveyor belts running in yeah I think that's probably the better idea actually so um, let's put this sort of here yeah that's looking fantastic so if we ever do need to we can build another smell another one there. Um, right, let's build this straight to there. Oh, we haven't got money. We may need to go back and get some more iron plates, I think. Um, and from here we need to build this conveyor up here so let's go back and get some iron plates um, we should be able to take them straight out of the storage and let's just get rid of this person. good for wire we're good for most of the things right we'll go to here and we'll top the fire mass up 
that does take quite a while to run out so obviously we filled that up on day one and it's still still had a fair bit in there but by the end of today I, I want to try and get that to running with solid fuel the solid solid fuel concrete oh I didn't get any stone did I I will have to go and find the stone we'll have to go on over to the stone miner and grab some stone and craft that into some concrete I think the stone miner's over here, is it? Yeah, right where that present landed. Let's grab that. Don't like the look of that just hanging over the edge there. Right, grab all of that, and we'll grab all of that. Looks like a giant pheasant. Uh, not a pheasant, um, quail. Right, let's get some. Oh no, we don't go in here. It's, it's over here, it's over here, Swifty. Come on. Let's get some gold. Good. That's good, that's good. We're good for that. We should have enough to get that conveyor onto a level ground. And then oh when it's flat we can Here, um, looking for levelish ground. This is where we could build the next part. And we can bring it right over there because obviously we can clear them trees and stuff later on. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's build a constructor right here. And that's in line. There's a green. Oh, just. No. Let's start a bit back. Um oh mistakes were made. Is 
that's the infeed. Where am I going? Go down a hole. Fall back down that hole again, aren't we? Right, okay. So let's connect this up. Okay, so I can't connect that up. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. Let's move this up a bit more. It's a mini flatter ground. And let's build it. Right, that's a straight there. So let's build it here. Constructor. Is that going to be too aggressive, that curve? I'm guessing that it is. No, it has. That's done it. Right, okay. So, from down there we get all ingots. Here we get this into wire. Right, and I don't think we're at the stage yet where... No, we can't do any splitters or anything. So, we're just going to go for a conveyor belt into a storage system for now. And then we can extend that later on. about here I'm sort of thinking this is just gonna be like a rough and ready line we are gonna get this a lot neater later on you just have to bear with me for now I have it in my mind's eye on the way that I want it to sort of look so That about right there. Can I connect straight in? Oh well that's Oh this is why it... there must be a way that you can see above this somehow, surely, because that it just seems a little bit odd that I mean yeah you get that green line to tell you when you're in line but it can be quite oh it's tiniest movement on the mouse it's so irritating is that in line now yes it is well, not really. Look, there's a bit of a bend. But anyway, it's connected. So that's the main thing. So now we can... Come out of that. We can go back this way. This isn't connected yet, is it? Nope. So... Um, Take a cable from here. Right, so that is that power. That is literally all connected. So we'll go down here. And we will configure this to iron ingots. Look at that, the conveyor belt is in the grass.
Like I said, we'll tidy that up because I don't like. Right, this is going to be producing wire. Right, okay, that's all set. That's on standby, it's connected. And then the storage system down here. So really we don't need to go very far to collect our copper anymore. And it'll already be crafted into, into cable. So, in theory, I should be able to just plop that in there. Right, okay, and very shortly we should start seeing things come into there. Let's go and top the other one up as well. And then we'll have to... Okay, we can't top it up because we haven't got the left. Chest. Yep, got some of those in the chest. And I'm sure we can create it from wood as well. Yeah, biomass. I'll craft these up. And then we'll do the wood. have plenty of power, uh, fuel sorry, for power. few of those and have we got any nothing in here at the moment so we can see where where it is or if it is at all oh here comes the ingots here comes our first ingots from a smelter. It's quite a long line, so that's probably why it's just taken a little while to get here. Is this going to come jumping into action? Come on. There it goes. There comes the first of our cable. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. And we can cut that tree down when we've researched a chainsaw. So yeah, next. I'll have to go back over here. And my goal for today really was to get that running and maybe even create a I want like this area down here I want this to be the power plant so everything runs from this area that's where my thought process is but I also want to try and work towards getting the space bridge as well and we'll place that somewhere behind here um, and I'd like to get the research facility unlocked as well um, so dee 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 what do we I mean that's a, a lot of materials for that one but it's an even more... <gasps> yeah, look at that. 500, 500 cement. 250 iron plates. 1,500 wire. And 400 rods. So we're definitely going to need to go and 
to get to that point we definitely need to get that stone hooked up to the storage system so we are going to need some more metal plates we'll take those out I think we have got enough cable we have got enough of those so yeah I think we can actually go and get the stone one done right now uh, power how much power are we using on here this may take us over so we may need another power plant Build another power plant, I'm sure we can. Biomass burner. Let's just do it. Right. Let's just have this right here. Okay, so this one will just run the stone so we can turn this one off as well and let's go to number one and we'll no we want number two don't we because we want cable and let's just run that over this. run that straight over we might get this for one line oh, we'll drop that there lovely Um, you do actually get when you pick them up just like that the stone just automatically goes straight into your inventory by the way so what we need now is a mark one miner and we want the outfeed to be going right through that tree for now but when we've got the chainsaw we can come down and chop these trees down um, let's just get this let's just get this out of here right okay let's power up connect that line up to there right we are going to need another feed line from that uh, right we can't build another power line because we're out of wire over here somewhere near the conveyor line no let's not do that just yet we want this into a constructor Leave, leave this into a constructor. Let's put this a bit more diagonal, bring it here. That should give us enough room with a yep. And let's just um, that we can have that running straight to there. Power. I want 
this. It's gonna look a bit odd. But I really want. Let's go and build the storage. I really want all the storage like in line with each other. This storage uh, organization thinking right the in feeds are gonna be there. And it won't allow me to build it there because I don't have enough rods. Yikes. Didn't think about rods. I think we do have some iron ingots. Right, okay, let's build some storage units. Um, I'm not just going to build one now, I'm going to build a couple because I want another one ready for having this coming into a splitter for cable. one here. Not exactly in line but mm, we can sort that out later because we don't have to be taking them to pieces when I want them. Let's bring this to here and then do this. Right okay. So we need to feed the beast. power. These take 10 a minute. And these ones only take 6 a minute but produce less power. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Just means we need to get that chainsaw quicker than of our cement. Right. Cement and concrete, whatever we're classifying it as. Right, so while everything's in production, I think it's best if we start doing some foraging because we're going to need plenty of power. I 
think it's going to be really important now then that we get this chainsaw so maybe that's the next plan so we can get that biofuel in fact I think that's going to be my next I think that's going to be more important than the space bridge to be completely honest and there's our concrete going in getting ready to go into storage let's craft this up into biomass This will keep us going for a little while. Let's stick anything in there that we're not particularly using at the moment. And presents, we're not using those. Not using the water miners, they can go in there. We've only got five plates left. But that's not to worry. Um, let's go and have a look at what how much the upgrade is. Um, this is what we need. So we need 500 of these, 100 cable, which isn't, and that. So let's. I know we're going to jump to tier 2 before we finish tier 1, but it's really important that we get that chainsaw, because we're going to need fuel like crazy pretty soon. So maybe jumping a step ahead, just sort of planning, future planning for what we need. Because we need to keep these lines running. So I just halved it and then took that. And oh yeah, that's that derelict one that's one that's gonna have cable in it eventually. Right, let's take all that. Which can still craft concrete as well. And what do we need? We need rods, don't we? Is it this? So we're going to need rods, we've got plenty of wire to do that, and we're almost done with that. So that's good. Got loads of stone, let's get these done. Oh we have got, we've got quite a few rods as well, so that should be enough to make the screws. those that we needed. I feel like it was. That's a few extra. After all we have got plenty of copper wire now. Five hundred of these that we needed. I believe it was. So 
believe it's 500 screws. I think on day three, I think that we're going to have to push towards um, by automating the production of screws. So we'll keep that for like day three, and then we'll work it out so we can automate screw production. Again, a little bit more forward planning. But I do still want to be working towards that space bridge. Right, so I need wow, I've got no idea. Oh, I used them all, didn't I? Uh, one good thing we can do is go to here and we can actually. Oh, it's no backlog. There's no backlog up there. Oh, no, it's in the. Of course, it's not. It's here. So I suppose we can always manually craft them. It just takes time. I think when we leave it today, I think we'll be in a lot better position than we were on day one. Obviously everything was manually crafted. Was it? Was it 500? My head's saying yes. Logistics, what's that? Tier two, no, tier two obstacle clearing. Yep, we've got everything we need. Let's get it done. Let's hit the big red button, and there she goes. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. So we've got a few extra slots of storage in our inventory always quite handy and we can now craft up these solid biofuel logs which is great great news we can put build a little manual line to actually automate this process as well maybe that's something again for day three because what we really need to do after this Um, let's see how much a chainsaw is going to cost us. We've got those, we've got those. We need more screws, so we need more rods. It's just rods. So, it's back to manual crafting again. We really do need the splitters so we can start splitting conveyor belts and running two smelters from one line and maybe a merger so we can start like drilling two different iron deposits I think that would be very beneficial but yeah again it's day two and we're 
doing quite well. Well, I think we are. I always forget how much it is for like, the crafting recipes for these things. Let's just craft 50. Oh no, we need 160. Oh wow. 160. We're going to buy iron ingots. Oh, there's the spaceship returning. Or the drop pod. What that does is it's actually like um, a cooldown. So, why this thing's gone and returning, you can't actually research Milestone anything else. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter reentry complete. Sixty. Okay, we're in business. Right now. Here we go. So let's go and clear up some of these trees from over here. So these are not even really trees as such, they're just more bushes. It cuts rocks. Okay, well that's weird, I never knew that. Too much fun with this thing. Oh, 
lot, so there's a backlog now. Is a quite a backlog of there really is quite a lot of backlog of things. We really need to get a splitter and get these on two different lines. never had that problem on the other one. Maybe is it to do with like the length of the, the conveyor belts? And the longer they are the more that they can produce faster. I'll have to do some theory thought into that one I think. Right, okay, so <clears throat> we've got plenty of wood now. Do you know what? There's no way I want to be crafting up all of this. Um, I don't know if I've got the resources to... Yep, I have, so we can build a constructor. I'm going to build it onto this power plant and we can sort of maybe create like a little just a, a little fuel we need another one this to run is I want this into another constructor oh we have we need wow we've run out of that oh we must have used a fair bit for the So I want to dump wood into this one, and now I want that to craft into biomass, and then bio biomass will spit. <coughs> um, then biomass will spit out and turn into things. So we need a storage unit behind here as well. So right constructor. I want these in line. It's not going to. fuel Let's 
seriously, that won't connect. It's like a space like. Remove that. They should connect. What? What's that not? Well, that's a bit janky. Okay, let's go and move this. bit of a glitch because that green line definitely came on the first one. Right, let's connect this up. We should have more than enough. I can't connect more lines. Oh, you are kidding. Okay, so, do I have to build a pole? And then do I have to remove this one? Remove that temporarily. Two. Okay, this. Which part do I need to connect it to that one? I should have everything back up and running again. leaves on it to start with and have solid biofuel for that one so we can just manually put the leaves for now unless this thing's only going to be temporary by the way to get us up and running. It's this way I can just dump all of my leaves into here and wood. I think I think I can actually dump biomass straight into there. Biofuel. We'll keep this running on biomass at the moment. And I'll chuck the rest of this biomass. Five already. So that's a little quick quick and easy production line for fuel. And I think we'll just go and gather some more some more wooden leaves. Oh yeah we've got we need at least This runs on biofuel.
right we'll just clear all these out of the way and we'll make this look a little bit neater so okay so it doesn't look like there's a big bush growing through that conveyor belt now on that line um, and we'll just Oh, some more berries. Crunch to crunch to. Yeah, I'm not gonna play near the edge. Keep coming back, I suppose. Right, let's go chuck that in that storage unit. Um. Yep. Going on that tree yet. Right, and we'll chuck all those into here. Logs. Is that all the logs that we've got? We've got plenty of leaves. Wood. Because I think that has still got. Yep, real good. How many of these have we got? 185. Let's. Still a fair bit. running everything now on biomass. Um, okay, so what's going on with this? Okay, now we're producing leaves. Is it like random and what? takes it from the back. Okay, right, I get it. Eventually there's only going to be wood in this one anyway. So we need to watch out for that. So, okay, so we're now gearing up ready for Space bridge. So if I go up here and collect, wow, look. Well, so while we've been sorting the power situation out, everything's been filling. Take glitched into the tree. Um, yeah, we have got a lot of those, and I think we might swap production now over from here, from iron plates to iron rods oh yeah we've got plenty of iron plates sitting in there um, I'd like to craft maybe another storage chest so we can put it outside here not a storage unit just one of these um, can I cra craft those yet no what do I need for that? Um, it's this one. 
I mean, we've got the stuff to do it, and then we've got the research station, so let's... Oh, no, we haven't got stuff to do it. We need iron rods. Hello, Apple Boy. So, what do we need to do from here? Uh, just we need those rods. That's not going to build them quickly for us. that we need for that or have we got everything we've got plenty of that oh we're going to need a lot a lot of we're going to need screws as well Hi Dorks, how are you doing? Right, we're going to need a lot more screws. <laughs> that means a lot more iron rods, so we'll grab them out of this here container. Oh, I've got 25. Oh, this is going to take ages. I think we're going to need to gonna, we're going to need to build a dedicated iron rod automation processor machine. Oh, there it tells you in the top corner the milestone thing. I've never seen that. Has that been there the whole time? Maybe. And I've just been oblivious to it. I'm quite new myself, Doc, so it's uh, <laughs> this has been a learning curve for me as well. Um, I'll show you literally what I've done so far. Um, over here, we've got like an this is going to be my storage bank over here. Um, so I've got a, a stone mine just sitting over there with a constructor. And then I'm going to build like a big factory just here, which is just all going to be storage items. So we're getting uh, concrete into here. This one's currently empty because I haven't researched the splitter yet. Um, and this one has got the wire coming into it from my copper farm. And I'll run over here and I'll quickly go and show you this one. Whoop. See, I've got a whole backlog of thing. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. It's just obviously my smelter is a lot more efficient than that, but that's a good thing because we're going to be connecting on day three. Um, and it's all running out of here, which is, seems to be backed up as well. It said funny because the first time I played this game, I played it for a couple of hours before I went came onto this one and started this this actual day. Is um, I I seem to have landed over here and everything was a lot closer to me. I landed in a really nice spot and I was trying to go get back to that spot because I had like iron stone and think like all within like two hundred meters of me. So this has been a little bit of a challenge trying to get everything into where I want it. Um, but I'm just 
I'm now trying to work on getting to the space elevator. But obviously I need to... What was that? Now I haven't found coal yet. Um, yep, it's not on my thing as yet. But I've... I've been more basing everything on like the process of going for this space elevator. I'm trying to get that one done first. Yeah, well, that's cool if you can. Let's The impressions though of this of this game is like I really loved Subnautica and I kind of feel like this is sort of in the same sort of category and it's this way um, I know there's gonna be one of them beasties hiding around here I've got a lot of iron by the way I have like um, four iron deposits this way two over there and quite a lot of stone just over there and two copper sitting in that one section East, east. Oh, that's one of them fireball things. I'm not tangling with him at the moment. I'm trying to avoid that. Southeast, it's like, like over this way. over there oh you're near the archway oh like over there oh there's more stone there as well that could come in handy Oh, I think I was near here on my first one. Is. Damn. Not going to be a perfect victory this time. Yeah, I was near here the first time. Um, because I'm sure I built my factory somewhere in this location the first time that I played. 
Right, let's get back to... <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So I'm... my base really isn't that far away. I know... By the looks of the way how big the game actually gets, I'm guessing that that really isn't going to be far away at all. Wow! Almost fell down there. Right, I should have plenty more iron rods so I can try and get this thing built up. Awesome berries. So do you play on the PC or do you play on a console or I'm not actually even sure if this game is actually on a console yet or not. I've never even really checked. Um, I'm playing it on PC as well, so. But, and I'm really enjoying it, to tell the truth. Pretty smart. Sam. Um, I kind of liked the look of this area because I have this uh, impure one here. I've got a. Uh, I think mostly all of them are impure, but. There's just lots of them. Like down this sort of area here. We have this one. Another one. Another one. And another one. So there's like six iron deposits like right close by and I thought that's exactly the sort of thing that I want. Does it auto craft for one push of the space bar? Oh, well, I never knew that. Well, you learn something new every day, so. Oh! I thought you had to hold and press the space bar. Dude, that's really helpful, thank you. <laughs> There's me like a fool sitting there pressing the space bar and holding it down. And I can just press it once and it just goes. <laughs> right, I think I've got enough screws now. Right, here we go. Story. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. That's exactly what I'm to ensure for. a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. I'm sure I just heard one of them, like, aardvark monster things. Maybe just in my head. Um, 
Right, let's get. It. That's one of the things that I needed. I've actually only played the game now for what, maybe eight or nine hours maximum. Um, and two of those were, well, roughly two hours were on a stream yesterday, where I was when I did day one. Uh, this is Mammon the Special. Okay, so we can easily afford some more reinforced plates. Are you, are you enjoying the game though? I think that's the most important thing when you like really in, really start enjoying it. So that's the research centre. Um, I've got plenty of those, so I can do that one. I don't know what. Oh, that's handy to know, because coal is going to be a thing, because I should imagine that coal's a lot more efficient than the biofuel. I mean, I have got quite a lot of biofuel. Um, One thing I've done to make my well, what's that? An eighty-nine in that. Um, what I've done to make myself e um, what I've done to make things easy for myself is each one of these generators is connected to a specific factory. So if I kill this one, um, the power plant stops and all the stone stops. This generator is powering the copper mine, and this one is powering all the iron section. So if I, you know, when you go in here and you click to standby, that'll just kill the entire mine if I needed to. So that's something else that we're trying to set up. Instead of having all your power plants linked to each other, I can actually just from one location is just shut down a mine. So just if you were wondering why I've got a weird sort of setup with a power distribution. Um, yeah, I was refilling that one, wasn't I? Power for another little while. Wow, that's quite a lot of coal. I think that might be something I might need to start looking into on day three. Is 
um, automating these things. Um, so that I've got a constant infeed with power. Oh, it was the research thing, yeah, I did that. Um, right, um, New recipe unlocked. I need ten of those. Um, New research available in the MAM. There's another one of those just up there. Yeah, I'd love a coal generator of that'd be awesome. Um, right, let's go and try and find one of these little Ardvark things. So I can finish the research. somewhere there it is that looks a bit ominous to get the berries. Doinks. Wow, that's quite scenic. Let's come up here with my chainsaw. Get that next piece of research done. Oh, another stone. Impure as well. Might as well collect these. Let's go in to the research. So I really want to unlock even better biofuel. Oh, I forgot to take those out of the chest, didn't I? This is the thing that I want to be working towards next. The Reba gun. What's this? Don't know. Extended tool belt, not too false to cut that. Right, so that's gonna be easy enough to to get. Too, isn't it? I need these things as well. In fact, I could probably do that right now. <clears throat> and then I'm pretty much 
much all set ready for day two. I, the first time that I played, my base was a complete and utter shambles. There were belts going everywhere. Um, this way, I've tried to be a little bit more clever. Um, obviously, I'm not going to settle here the whole time. I want to move somewhere else. <clears throat> but this is going to be the my little centre for mass production to get me where I need to. So that I can move somewhere in a nice area <clears throat> but for now we're going to build um, a huge storage area I want all my storage chests chests? <laughs> they played far too much Minecraft um, I want all the storage containers sort of going down here and make like a whole building just full of storage containers and then I can just go into one place and just pick out whatever I want or whatever I need No, it's not like that. I need to say it's a tier one. Yeah, it's this one. This is what I need. Because I need these two. And hit the big red button. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display so. will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. That's also how much does it cost to build these splitters? No idea how you get tree branches. Um, so that unlocked the up conveyor belt, and the merger, and the splitter. These are what we need. Plenty of those. Plenty of those. So I can, that'll be ready for tomorrow when I do day three. And um, I just need to craft up some more cable. I think the automate the to automate thing. I mean, there is really clever ways. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos actually on how people have um, created like a starter factory, but you've got to get to sort of a point where you've got everything unlocked to build them, and it it looked really interesting because absolutely every single thing was automated in one factory, like all your starter things, like your iron, your copper, your nuts, your wire, cable, reinforced plates, screws and uh, the biomass stuff was all in just one factory and I think he did it in like a 20 a 12 by 20 grid area I want to go for something a little bit different um, I want like loads of little factories around eventually. That's the point where I'm going to get to. So I have like an iron factory. I have a a copper factory, concrete, blah blah blah. And keep going and have all different factories and like build like a little town of factories. Because I know that you can unlock trains and things like that as well, which I'm really interested. In. I want to see how they work. And I think you can 
eventually you can get to the point where you, you can get vehicles and stuff. Is that right? And then they can transport ores and things. This one's going to take a while to come back, isn't it? Um. Probably a good idea to put the chainsaw in that hand. I really want to get this unlocked as well. stock. Let's get that one done. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more for advanced it. organizing and sectioning of I the factory. I don't mind at all. Ah, see the, the bot thing blocked the link, but I can still see it. All oh, right, you've updated it to. That's looking pretty cool. I see you've like pretty much terraformed everything. Your area is a lot flatter than what I'm built <laughs> working on, which is making mine quite difficult. I see that like your cabling as well is like how mine was the first time it was sort of like quite sporadic all over the place um,
I still like looking at other people's stuff to get ideas for things. I don't necessarily copy anybody else's ideas, but I like because I like to do my own little thing. But I'm always interested in what other people have done. to building the space bridge. That's my next objective. Cap tower. Let's move that by now. Space elevator. Well, should have enough concrete, should have enough iron, plates, rods, not so much, cable. The facility's there, just not the... the how much we've got? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we might have enough. enough and iron plates and rods it's just the rods that's going to be the, the let down on this one right yeah need more rods need more cable Yeah, I found that. I think four wires on a power pole is is pretty tricky to work out. Like, I mean, most factory, most of the these lines are going to tend to have like, like to fully automate some processes. You're going to need like six six machines. That means you're going to end up with a load of poles, like one there, one there, one there, one there, with them all feeding off of each other. Quite a few of these. Yep. Take some of them out. Fill everything up. Elevator. Oh, about 313. Another almost 150 rods. <laughs> That's. I was trying to get that space elevator built today, and I'm running out of time. I've only got about 10 minutes left. Manually batter some of them together for now.
think this process gets a bit tedious after a while, having to manually craft stuff when you're used to just going to a storage unit and picking it up and away you go. At least I'm not having to craft as much stuff as I did yesterday. This must be an impressive looking building if it takes this, mu this many resources. storage right, let's have a look it's just the, just the rods now have we got enough of these I'll be using one of them again. Oh, I really do want to get this. Really, it's going to be a race against the clock now. some of these and <coughs> I want to get that space elevator and that'll leave leave me in a good spot for day three yeah day three
18. 18. Oh, we've got enough. We've got enough. Right, and I want to build space elevator. I don't know how big it is. How big is it? Can't afford. Why can't I afford it? Cable. Still missing some cable. I thought I had it all. <laughs> I can afford it now. I wonder if we build it here. That's sort of floating. Oh god, it's huge. Wow, that's humongous. Wow. Well, that certainly looks amazing. I have no idea what this thing does, by the way. But I think I may have kind of boo-booed a little bit. Built this right next to a rock, if that's an infeed or something. Oh yeah, I don't want to be... What is that thing? I know what that fireball thing is. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Yeah, we'll not play... Okay, we are going to play this game. Then. Idea what this is. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I've harvested it. I've been trying to jump over there. The things. What does this do? Space elevator project. Delivery will unlock tier three and four. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got to ship, build a line into the space elevator containing this. And then it all go up a tier, maybe. And I have a feeling that <clears throat> I have a feeling a conveyor isn't going to go into that one. So I may need to relocate it. Alright, so punch and thing. I seen that like one of them it didn't negate one of the fireballs when I hit it with that zapper. But I wasn't sure if that was just my imagination or not. Certainly an interesting looking building. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. Strange looking ball. Right. Um, Oh, I should have researched them, shouldn't I? Instead of eating them all. <laughs> okay, let's find some more. In fact, is there a bush over here? never seen any of that weird fungus stuff yet. These have a grow back. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. I've been looking at this thing for a while. And I can't... Okay, right, so we're going to put this thing to... Go and build a big like house thing then. That look pretty smart. I've never thought about building an actual like base building. I really should. So is that another one of them slugs up there?
this does. Slug scanning. Okay. Shots. That'd be interesting to do overclocking production. So, would that make everything go faster? <coughs> I'm going to have another five minutes and I'm going to have to head off <coughs> and call it a day until tomorrow. I oh, know I'm dying to find out what these slugs do. Oh, 170 rods, that's... oops. That's more than enough. Let's research that. I've got like two minutes for it to research. I why it's researching that all. Is left. May even have to turn this back into iron plates. In fact, I'm going to do that now, actually. So what sort of ideas have you got for your house so far? New object added to the object scanner.
specifically find the lost slug. I'm sure that's one up there, but I'm... I don't think I can get to it. trees bugged me the whole the whole time right okay that's it I think we'll call it a day at that I think we're in a good place for day two because that's going to take a while to finish right now try, currently trying to get an idea still I'm still get, gathering ideas and like I'm gonna create like a base and then I'm coming up with the idea of like I play Minecraft um like on a a big server and we tend to like base our season and do like a base and then a mega base and that's how I think I'm gonna go with this as well. So I might build like this base and build it up and then leave this leave this running to gather all my resources but then go somewhere else and then build a mega base and then I'm sort of thinking well I have no ideas on what I'm going to do with that yet but I think it after you've mentioned house I was sort of thinking maybe that you could build something like with all the storage at the bottom and then you always oh, like get quarters on top of it and stuff I think that would be quite smart But I'd definitely love to see it when you start building it, so you'll have to stay in touch and so I can go and see how you're getting on and things, because that'd be quite cool. Um what which research was it that we did? So we just need this one. And I can't do that yet. I can do this one. Advent calendar to open. <laughs> but yeah, I think I left myself in a good position for for day three. Everything that I wanted to achieve on day two I've got done. So we've got the copper line in, we've got the stone line and concretification done we've got the research center done we've got that space elevator done we've got a couple of things that I never planned to do which was to create another bio plant and have a, a sort of whoop-de-woo 
auto So biomass productificator. <laughs> oh, you can turn alien carapace into thing now. That's quite handy. Um, yeah, so that's our oh, and we've sort of refined the power grid a little bit better. So it's not as much of a mess. Right. So with that, I think that's everything. Because I'm going to need to get off. I only plan to do a two-hour stream, and it's now about two hours and twenty minutes long. So, right. Um. Oh yeah, it would help if I actually saved this game. I never created a my own save. So I'm gonna call this TW one. No, uh, TW one. Twitch one. That's what we'll do. Right, I'm going to get myself away, so, dorks, have a great day, if you can hear me in, so yeah, have a great day, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing, I'd love to see how your house comes out, so, look me up when you've got some more pictures and stuff I'd love to see it right so take care guys um, I'm gonna end this stream with stay safe have a great day and catch you all later bye for now